making some oatmeal this morning. I'll be putting some cinnamon whey in there. And let's see, probably some peanut butter as well. But um, yeah, so I am actually heading to the gym earlier today. It is 9.30 and I'm gonna leave my house by 10, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go over to Optimum Gym, train an upper body, and then I'm seeing one of my um, massage therapists um, Dawn, which I actually haven't seen her. I haven't seen her since since the New York Pro. So I feel like a combination with her work working on me and Sean, my my physical therapist. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. So. I just, I, I just miss seeing her, so I'm gonna see her today. But this is 50 grams, 50 grams of oatmeal. I'm trying to put myself in good spirits today. Maybe I'll explain a little bit later in the video. Um, about what happened to me uh, about six days ago. Um, it's still really hard for me to talk about, but um, maybe in this video I will share what happened. Um, but I just, knowing me, I need to get back to what I love doing, which is vlogging. I love vlogging. I love, sh I want to share my Olympia prep with you guys. So it's doing that. It's going to the gym. It's it's my client work. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might know what happened. But um, yeah, I'm just going to continue this vlog because I want to keep this going and this makes me happy and I want to keep my life propelling forward. I don't want to crumble in a little ball and throw all of my goals out the window. I know for me personally, I need to keep moving forward and doing what makes me happy. So um, today, yeah, today's Monday and I'm, I'm feeling really, I'm in a much better spot today. And yeah, let's just continue with this video. Cinnamon cereal. There we go. Then immediately, and I mean immediately, after I eat my first meal, it is just a habit. I have to take my supplements afterwards. I feel like it just like satisfies my stomach. And if I don't take my vitamins and I just don't feel the same, I just don't. I just, I, I feel off. I'm either hungry or moody or I'm just like something's just not right. So I have to take this. And it's just that people always ask like, Lauren, like how do you remember to take your supplements? It's just a habit. It's just a habit. So like right after I eat, I come straight here and then I'm like, okay, I need to take my multivitamin. I need to take Fortify, which is the joint support. I've been taking this immune every single day and this is why I don't get sick. No, I'm joking, but it, it really does um, help with that. That's for sure. It helps with your immune system for sure. So I've been doing that. I've also been taking balance for my gut support too. So I'll take that. And, oh, and then my fish oil. I keep my fish oil in, my ref in the fridge back there um, because I feel like it stays better. With everything I have been going through, bodybuilding save is like saving my life. Like I don't know what I would do without bodybuilding.
Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm going to bring a meal with me and then we're gonna head off, head off to the gym. Let's just keep going, Lauren. Just keep this day going. Okay, going to bring a meal with me. So I got this little, I've had this thing for like, it's a Fitmark bag. I've had this thing for years. I need to get a new one, but um, I'm gonna bring a made to macro meal. This girl has literally been saving my life because I haven't felt like cooking at all. And this is probably the main reason why I've been staying on track over this past week is literally these meals. So, I'm just gonna bring a, a grilled chicken. There's just chicken. Uh, there's 41 carbs, 32 protein, three fat. I'm gonna bring one of those. I uh, need an ice pack. Ice pack. And I'll just eat this in the car before, after my workout. But I also need, can't forget those. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Got that. Pre worked out. Okay, let's head out. chow this down and then go into my appointment you just have to eat it cold there's no microwave I'm not even hungry right now you know after after you work out like you're not hungry I'm like forcing this right now. <laughs> Cause I know I'm gonna be in there. I'm gonna be starving, but. My appointment's at one. I just got my, I just got these shirts. So I want to show you guys. 
because this is my my first Olympia, I wanted to make shirts. <laughs> so this, I'm gonna look at them for the very first time right now. All right, I wanna make sure I'm getting out the girls shirt. Okay, and then I'll pull it out and then. All right, so that's a large, hold on. Hold on, I wanna make sure I get my size. Oh. How cool is this? Okay, guys, sorry, I'm like looking at this for the first time. It's super cool. Okay, so I went ahead and I made, it says Lauren Dana Meller, Lauren Dana Meller, 2021 Olympia Bound. Bang. <laughs> Look how dope. That's my cosmic body right there. And she's in the O. And then Lauren Dana Meller, Olympia Bound. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. If you guys want a shirt and support me at the Olympia, um, I'll have the link in the description box down below if you want to purchase one. Um, and any of my merchandise that I'm selling, you can just click the link, but cool. Oh, this is neat. Let's go ahead and put it on. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> How cool. Oh, I love it. That's so cool. Yes, I'm so excited. This is a cool shirt. Made a shake post-workout. It's just um, whey from Legion. And I'm going to top it with Lucky Charms. Yum. Post workout. Oh, here's some better lighting. Eat this, watch a little bit of TV, and then finish my client check ins. Oh, I got sunburned bad yesterday. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I got sunburned bad.
Hello and good morning. It is Thursday, July 22nd. It's almost 9.30 and I'm about to make breakfast. Um, yesterday was a rest day for me, so I went to the beach with a girlfriend. And today I am, I'm, I gotta work out, so I'm gonna train legs. Then, um, let's see. And then I am going to the Chicago Pro Show um, in Atlanta because Kyle has a competitor competing in the show, and a pro competing in the show, Anna and it's going to be her pro debut so we're super excited and i just want to be there for her at her pro debut she's really awesome so i'm leaving tomorrow in the morning so i have to make sure i get a lot done today because we're, I'm flying up there and then I'm, I'm, we're driving back down. I'm driving back down with Kyle because um, he, he drove up there. And I have to clean this house because I don't want Kyle coming back going, what the hell did you do to the house? So I, I got a vacuum and stuff. So, mm -hmm. so for breakfast, I'm just doing, I'm going to have some egg whites. And I'm also going to have some veggies with it. And I'm going to have one of these, these little tortillas with it. And yeah. Also, gonna have one of these wraps, and there's 3.5 fat, 17 carbs. Damn, there's 360, 360 milligrams of sodium in this thing. Hmm, that's a lot. have it.
Okay, okay. I've seriously been dreading making this clip. <laughs> and I was just in the gym and I'm like, I need to make this clip so I can move on and continue making videos for you guys because I'm documenting my contest prep and I just need to tell you what's going on so I can just get it off of my chest and I can just continue making my YouTube videos but I haven't been myself at all and I don't know if I'll ever be myself again just really really down um if you follow me on instagram you know what happened I, I shared on my instagram and i've been posting about you know what happened and everything but i'm just gonna say it out loud to my youtube channel so my dad passed away two weeks ago yeah it's been he passed away on monday and today's it's it's been a, about two weeks a little over two weeks my dad passed away very unexpectedly <laughs> no idea it was gonna happen it was super unexpectedly um and ugh, this is hard to talk about oh my gosh he just had his funeral yesterday too so um i just don't even know what else to say I just, just want to share it with you guys um but me and my dad were really close and he literally lived down the road from me i live in st petersburg florida born and raised here kyle and i bought a home here my dad's super close to us he lives down the street and yeah he's gone now and it's been really hard it's been really really hard to uh, to go through this and um, yeah so for me coping with the whole situation I'm just staying focused on my competition prep because it's it's really helping me just cope and, and stay focused and my dad hasn't seen me compete since my first bodybuilding show he went to my first ever bodybuilding show and i didn't want him going to my other shows just because like i compete so much and but he was gonna go to the mr olympia and that, the last time i saw him we were having dinner together i was over at his house and he was just so proud of me and he told me that he's gonna come to this show and he was so excited and yeah that he was gonna come to the show um and that was gonna mean the world to me for him to come but now you know what's giving me the strength and power to push through this contest prep is just knowing that he's with me like i feel him when i'm in the gym i feel him I just, I feel him around me and I know he's going to give me the power and strength to push through this contest prep of mine. And I just, I actually have, I feel like I have more strength with, with this whole thing going on. And yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm going to make him proud and I know he's looking down on me and I know he's going to be with me when I walk across that stage and I know he's gonna be cheering me on and I just, I feel him with me throughout this whole thing. So, yep, I'm just, I gotta stay focused on the goal right now. I'm not gonna quit, I'm not gonna stop. I know he wouldn't want me to stop and I'm just gonna continue through my contest prep. But yep, it's been very, very difficult. I haven't been myself, but I'm just going to, keep on moving along my dad was a very very hard worker and i know i have all those qualities within myself his worth ethic his hard he was such a hard worker um super determined and i know i have all of those qualities so i'm gonna keep going and yep so i just wanted to make the clip because it's just um I just wanted to make the clip because 
I want to keep moving forward with this contest prep. And this is just something that I feel like I've been, you know, hiding from YouTube and I just want to get it out so I can keep making these videos and keep staying focused on what I love to do, which is bodybuilding, sharing my journey and hitting the Olympia stage this year. So, okay. Hi, my name is Lauren and I was Rick's oldest daughter. The best memories I have of my dad were definitely during my childhood. I am so grateful because of him. I literally had the best childhood ever. He always went above and beyond with everything he did, and he completely spoiled Olivia and I. We had the biggest birthday parties that our whole entire grade would look forward to. Our Christmas mornings were out of this world, and he enjoyed Christmas, like Christmas morning, more than I did. <laughs> we would spend the weekends out on the boat, wakeboarding, scurfing, or up in our farmhouse in Brooksville, going on mule rides, working on house projects, playing with the animals, and so much more. He was very humble, and he never bragged to show off. He also never talked bad about others, even some of the women issues he had. He never talked negative about them to me. And I think all of those good qualities have traveled over to me, which I'm very grateful for. My dad was always living on the edge, and he would scare me half of the time. He would always be playing it cool like nothing happened, though. I remember he had a grilling accident where he came in and he said nothing happened, but his face was completely black and half of his eyebrows were burnt off. <laughs> or the time he got bucked off of our horse up in Brooksville and he broke his ribs. I mean, I could go on and on. He never showed the pain or complained about it though. My dad was a goofball, always making jokes. He was one big old kid. He was either playing or working hard. I don't think I've ever seen him seated for more than five minutes. As I grew older, I didn't rely on him as much, and honestly, that just forced me to be independent. I looked up to my dad all of my life because he was always such a hard worker, always so motivated and thinking outside of the box, and all of those characteristics have carried over to me to work hard and be humble. I'm 10 weeks out from competing in the Mr. Olympia bodybuilding competition, my lifelong dream. Um, my dad was gonna come and watch me, um, but instead, I know he's going to be there the entire time, um, looking down on me and giving me the strength to power through this prep. Um, I want to live life to the fullest just like he did. I love you so much, Dad, and I'm going to forever share your stories. All right, well, Kyle and I are on the road. We just worked out, and we're heading over to, what's it called? Battle of the Bodies? Battle, Janet's show? Battle of the Bodies? Um, because we're... We have two pros competing this weekend, and then I have an amateur client. So, yeah, I mean, it's like a four-hour yeah. drive. And we have a client in USA's. We have a client in USA's today. Andy, so. Yeah, but but we're driving yes. to yes. Um, Fort Lauderdale. I don't know if, the, if it's a different title for the amateur versus pro show. I've just seen Janet battle the bodies NPC battle the bodies so mm -hmm. and then there's there's a bikini pro show too yeah and if you guys didn't know it's uh the same promotion as like Dan Solomon's team and the Olympia yeah. so I mean I'm not saying I expect something like the Olympia but it should be pretty good I mean should it, be they, if Dan's yeah. putting it on yeah so and okay so we're here at actually made to macro because I need to pick up my meals and we're gonna go inside and go get my food. I've never been in here before. Uh, but we just ordered in bulk, and I'll show you guys what we got. Yeah, I'm excited, yeah. All right, let's go. Got this Yeti for Kyle for Christmas, but I use it all the time too, it's really nice. 
All right, so we ended up getting my meals. But yeah, we just got all things in bulk this time around. So we got potatoes, shrimp, green beans. Oh, look at all that rice. So she, oh, there's steak in here. So there's a Maybe lot. Maybe we'll show you in the uh, hotel. What's, oh yeah, I can show you in the hotel too. But yeah, well what we did is we're, oh, we're ordering in bulk. Yeah, so Alexis wasn't here. Maybe we'll come back a different time and show you guys a little bit more about it or talk to her a little bit more about it. Yeah. There's this motorcycle coming by. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, it's uh, she's doing bulk now for the Olympia prep. Just because instead of doing meals. Yeah, just to be more accurate, can... you know? So I'm actually going to. Yeah, take these. out some of these drinks. That doesn't matter. Yeah. Road tripping. I can't eat the turkey. You're gonna have to eat the turkey. Okay, I'll eat the turkey. Oh look. I like these pants a lot from Rider Wear. Yeah. But it's like a, a um, not spandexy fabric. Right now, yeah. I mean, I'm going for another. You've only done one tan last night. She never did one today. No. no definitely do it ASAP because I want you to do two of them, even if it's light. I think the tan's gonna get darker with the spray tan. Nice, much improved nice. since this morning and yesterday and yeah. last show. She's already looking forward yeah, and looks good. Much her, her delts, it's so crazy the difference between this morning versus like her delts now. Ooh, yeah. Diagonal. See you tonight. There we go. That's great right there. Nice. That looks so good. Huge improvements. Okay, we're back here. We're gonna vlog. Backstage. Enjoy. I'm vlogging right now, yes. Um, Battle of the Bodies are backstage. The IFBB Bikini Pros are gonna go on soon. Probably in the next 15 or 20 minutes. But we're back here with our girls. Just chilling out, Coach Kyle. Nelly, look at me. Wow, guys, she looks absolutely gorgeous. So now it's her turn to step on stage, because usually she's here for me. <laughs> So now it's her turn, it's her pro debut. Yes. How are you feeling? I feel great. You look great. I'm good. Yeah. And I just can't wait to showcase the hard work we've done this I know. All these years. So. I know. I just can't wait to see you up there and you pose. Yeah. Because she, you can't mess up now. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. Don't worry about your do Instagram post later. Dang. Oh yeah. Good. You feel tight? Just wow. Beautiful. Alright, thank you very much, ladies. This is And then even some biceps is fine but more so lateral races. Is it coming on quick? Good. 
Cheryl Weaver. Yeah. Okay.